Welcome to the gathering. I'm glad you've joined us today. We have a wonderful program for you. I have in the studio today with me Pastor Adrian and Latasha Crossley from First Church of God in Christ in Temple, Texas. Amen. Welcome. Amen. Thank you. Thank, Thank you for letting for allowing us this opportunity to come be with you. Oh, it's yeah. a blessing, and it's been a blessing already um, getting to visit with you and hear what's in your heart, and so excited for what God is doing in your ministry and in your yes, church. Yes, Amen. God. Yes. And, yes, you know, I have to say at the beginning of the program that I've known uh, Pastor Adrian's parents for a number of years, many years. Yeah. Uh, Pastor Lee and Sanjanette Crossley um, were a part, they're just a part of the community. Not yes. just the temple community, but they're a part of the regional community yes. and have had such a powerful impact. I know I initially met them at a Glow International. Uh, Pastor Lee was uh, an advisor for us mm -hmm. and I saw yeah. them month after month, uh, you know, attend a woman's ministry in yes. temple and, and believe that it was important enough mm -hmm. for them to be present and for them to cover in prayer. Amen. Yes, it was. And, and they're, they are just amazing people. And uh, Pastor Lee uh, went on to be with the Lord mm -hmm. uh, yeah. a year or more ago. In July 2014. July of 2014. Mm -hmm. And of course, yeah. Sanjana has been on the program with me before. What a blessing she is. Um, but at that point in time, you had to hear the voice of the Lord and yes, the call yes, of God to step up and yes, into that God. position. Tell us a little bit about that. Well, um, in July 2014, that's when I started pastoring. Um, our bishop, um, he actually appointed me as pastor at my father's funeral. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it was a, a bittersweet type of situation because I was still, oh, yes. um, you know, grieving because uh, my father going on to be with the Lord, but, but it was a blessing to be able to carry the legacy that he started and, and to be able, you know, to uh, continue what he started. And, and one thing that I had one pastor encourage me, he said that, um, that my father has some big foot uh, shoes, big shoes to fill. Mm -hmm. And just like the same situation with Moses and Joshua, uh -huh. um, you know, he encouraged me to be Joshua, to create my own um, path and, and my own legacy and not, be, not to get consumed with trying to fill the shoes of my father. You know, because my father, he did so much in the community. He, he started the nonprofit Citizens for Progress, um, mm -hmm. you know, for the revital, revitalization of East Temple, and we've been keeping that going too, mm -hmm. you know, with the help of Judy Morales. And, you know, it's just been a blessing. I've been pastoring since July 2014, but um, I've actually been preaching before that. Mm -hmm. um, and one thing, my father, he was, he was kind of old school. He made me sit up under his leadership. Mm -hmm. And that's one thing young preachers get away from. They don't want to sit up under leadership. Yeah. They don't want to learn from anybody. I, I sat up under him, you know, although he was my father, I still sat up under him and he made me um, start f um, first, you know, I, I was a drum player and then he made me um, sit up, well, he didn't make me. Um, I had a desire to be his armor bearer. Mm -hmm. um, I started at his armor bearer. He didn't just put me up in the pool pit just because I was his son. Mm -hmm. uh, I first had to learn from him and be taught and sit up under his tutelage. <laughs> and um, I first started at his arm, as his armor bearer and, and having that heart to, and, and that desire to want to serve him as our leader, our under shepherd. And then, and then um, I became a licensed minister um, in 2012, February. And then from then on, um, I became his assistant pastor and, and was able to, to help him. And, and, you know, it's just a blessing to be in ministry. And, and people don't quite know what pastors go through until you walk in a pastor's mm -hmm. shoes. Mm -hmm. You know, they, they look at the fancy title. They look at, um, you know, you being able to stand behind a pulpit, but they don't see what goes, goes on in, 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 in your secret place. They don't see what goes on in your home, the, you know, the way the devil comes up against you, you know, comes up against your ministry, comes up against your, your people um, um, that's in the ministry, you know, but I count it all joy, you know, and I believe it was James, the first chapter that says the, the working of our patience, mm -hmm. the working of our, the trying of our faith work with patience, and it says let patience have its perfect work, you know, so, um, and I believe that that God is doing something miraculous uh, for not just First Church of God in Christ, but for all the ministries um, that are that are really seeking His face and really 
or um, you know praying and seeking God and and just you know and just getting in the Word. You know the Word is powerful. The prayer is powerful. Mm -hmm. You know and just um, you know walking in our calling. You know we're all called. Amen. Uh, many are called, but few are chosen. Are chosen. So, and some of that persecution and some of those trying mm -hmm. times yeah. is probably where I believe, anyway, we go from being called to chosen. Yeah. It's go. being tested. It's there being proven, mm -hmm. and uh, standing in spite of, mm -hmm. yes. regardless of what it looks like, or regardless mm -hmm. what w just took place. Yeah. You know, <laughs> yeah. what disappointment maybe just mm -hmm. hit, or what you know came and sliced and diced from the enemy, just saying, "I know what God." has said and yes. I will stand. Absolutely. Yes. Pastor mm -hmm. Latasha, I know that you're a woman mm -hmm. of prayer yes. and your <laughs> role <laughs> at present is mm -hmm. more or less to be his armor bearer, his helpmate yeah. of course. Mm -hmm. Share a little bit about intercession and um, how the Lord is using both of you because prayer is a big part of your ministry. Yes, it, it is, is absolutely. Um, I thank you for this time. Um, yes, as being the pastor's wife, you definitely, you find your role where you do have to be that prayer woman. You have to build him up in his time where he's a pastor. And like he was saying, the attacks that he's gonna get, he's gonna get those attacks, but as his uh, wife to be, his wife, you need to be that one to mm -hmm. support him and pray for him because he is going to be attacked as well as his family is going to That's try to come in different ways to attack rather it's you know the enemy's going to try it through myself or with our children or whatever have you he's going to try different avenues true. but if we get into his word like we're supposed to and really pray you know we can flee it says uh resist the devil he'll flee from you Amen. and so that's what we're looking for that's what we we ask so all is just pray Praying yeah. is definitely the And then you one. have a, a group of people that are uh, coming to your church that you yes. have to cover in prayer. Absolutely. Yes. Yes. And that, I'm sure, Absolutely. keeps you up at night. Yes. Absolutely, <laughs> yes. Uh, when the Lord, when the Lord uh, calls and asks you to wake up and pray, I mean, yeah, that first instant is, oh, I want to sleep. But, you know, right. we know that when we do get in there, we pray, we intercede for people yes, that is going through, then it's, it's going to help because you don't know what a person is going through at the midnight hour. You know, he mm. might, she might be battling, wanting to commit suicide, True. but that one prayer that help can change some things. Amen. So you never want to close the ear if God is asking you or waking you up to pray because you don't know what that prayer might do for that person. Amen. So absolutely. Amen. Pastor, you, you mentioned the, the change from Moses to Joshua and yes. I spent six months probably at the end of this past year sharing that, preaching that and mm -hmm. teaching that and a crossing over time into a new era. Yes. And uh, the Lord had given me 2015 would be a new era where um, many, many would cross over into that new place of yes. a, a fresh anointing in mm -hmm. a new season. Yes. And we find ourselves, you know, in a time, you know, mm -hmm. God put us on the earth during this time, Acts yes, 17, 25 or 26 uh, through 28 says, um, and hath made of one blood all nations of men to dwell on the face of the earth. And he determined the times mm -hmm. before appointed and even the boundary of our habitation yes. that we would seek the Lord if haply we might feel after him, the King mm -hmm. James said, but to seek him, to see what he's yes. saying yes, in Lord. the time that we live in, the era that yes. we live in is different yes. mm -hmm. than 20 years ago. Sometimes you can think maybe 20 years ago was easier, mm -hmm. but in it may have been in some ways, mm -hmm. but we're anointed yes, for this season. Absolutely. For such a time and this. so we have to take hope in that for mm -hmm. such a time as this. Mm -hmm. So would you mind addressing some of the things that are relevant to this season mm -hmm. and yes. the people you minister to, or even what you're sensing in the spirit realm and the city and the nation? Absolutely. Well, um, you know, I preached earlier and, you know, what the Lord was telling me is that, you know, he wants to refresh us. He wants, you know, Acts 3 and 19 says times of refreshing come from being in the presence of the Lord. Mm -hmm. But the first part of scripture, he says, repent ye therefore so that your sins uh, be converted so your mm -hmm. sins are blotted out. You know, and one thing about it, God is a sovereign God. Mm -hmm. He's a holy God. He has never changed from, from when he first on, created. Um, Adam and Eve and created the earth. He's, he's never changed. And you know, we, we, we study 
about God, but we don't study the ways of God. Mm -hmm. We need to know the ways of God. Mm -hmm. And we can look back, um, you know, all through the Old Testament, um, the children of Israel, you know, where he had to chastise them so they would come back to him. Mm -hmm. And we have repeatedly turned our back on God. Mm -hmm. I was studying the word, um, preparing my Sunday sermon, and um, just praying, we, me and my wife were praying and worshiping, and, um, and the Lord let me feel a glimpse of what he was feeling in, and I could feel the hurt that he's feeling in his heart mm. because the people of God have turned their back. Yes. They have come consumed in their own ways. Mm. They, have con come, they have become consumed in the flesh, the things that the, the um, you know, the flesh, and not walking in the spirit, he's hurt because people have repeatedly turned their back on mm. God. They have set him to the side like he's this book right here, mm. you know, and God is saying, come back to me. Yes, I want the sons, and I want to have that sonship relationship with you. I want you to be my son and my daughter. Yes, you know, Acts um, 8 and 29 says that Jesus will be the first of many brethren. Mm -hmm. uh, um, he'll be the first of many brethren to follow in his footsteps. Yes. So if he's the first of many brethren for us to follow in his footsteps, you know, now is the time for us to come back. Mm -hmm. You know, get back in your prayer closet. Dedicate 15 minutes a day of just worshiping and spending time in the presence mm -hmm. of the Lord. Mm -hmm. And then watch that 15 minutes turn into an hour. Okay. And then you'll become you'll be, be, become consumed in His presence and you'll lose track of time. Awesome. Yeah. You know, because God's, God's presence is, it, 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 you know, just worshiping Him. You know, we're some worshipers. We, we believe in prayer. We believe in worship. And like my wife said, the Lord wakes us up, you know, all times of the night and we pray and we intercede for people yeah. because we know that we go through temptations. Mm -hmm. We go through trials and tribulations. We go through attacks, but the, Jesus loves you. Yeah, Jesus good. loves you. Mm -hmm. God gave his only son mm -hmm. so that we can have salvation. Hallelujah. We have authority. Amen. Hallelujah. Through Christ Amen. Jesus. Yeah. You know, um, that is the relevancy, I believe, of our times you were sharing that people are uh, more consumed with the flesh and, mm -hmm. yeah. and uh, says in the last days people will be lovers of self and, yes. and we are there and there's so many yes. distractions Absolutely. and yes, there uh, there's so many things that pull mm -hmm. on us for mm -hmm. our time as you said we have to bring God back mm -hmm. to the center not set aside there and be focused go. on Him. I want you all to listen to uh, pastor preach just for a few minutes. Mm -hmm. I know you're going to enjoy it and then we'll come back and we'll discuss some of the things that he shares. Well, hello folks. How y'all doing today? It's truly a blessing to be um, here in the studio for K KPLE. Um, first, I'd like to thank Miss Robin for giving me this opportunity to come speak before you. It's a pleasure and honor, and I, and I thank God for this opportunity, and I believe that God has a word. I believe that God is speaking the same thing in this season, um, and it's really important that we are sensitive um, to what God is speaking. Uh, before I came here, I was asking the Lord, what should I speak about? And he's speaking the same thing. Uh, I'm going to go to a scripture passage that's very familiar with us. It's Second Chronicles 7 and 14. And we all know the scripture by heart. If my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and will heal their land. Now is critical time. We know all the, the um, pestilence, all the, the earthquakes, everything that's going on right now is, is mo most important right now for us to seek God to go into our secret closet, to go into our secret place, to seek God, to turn from our wicked ways. Now is the time that we need to humble ourselves. Right now is not the time to be operating in pride or arrogance. Now is not the time to be operating in self. Now is the time to humble ourselves. Um, Psalms 91 says that, that we need to go into the secret place of God. We need to go back into the secret place. We need to go back into our prayer closet. We need to go back into our prayer room. We need to seek God. We need to turn. We need to repent. The Lord is saying repent right now and turn from our wicked ways so that he can heal the land. Now is the time to operate in humility. Hallelujah. Acts 3 and 19 says, repent ye therefore. Hallelujah. Acts 3 and 19 
says, repent ye therefore and be, and be converted that your sins may be blotted out. When? The times of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord. Now, when we repent, when we turn from our ways, when we humble ourselves, then the refreshing of the Lord is able to saturate. The glory of God can be released in your ministries. The signs, wonders, and miracles can follow. He said we would do greater things. He said we would do greater works. But first, we have to humble ourselves. We have to pray. We have to seek his face. We have to turn from our wicked ways. Then times of refreshing come from being in the presence of the Lord. Now is not the time to, 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 to worry about what people are saying. Now is not the time to worry about the Christians being persecuted. Now is not the time to worry about what the public says about you. Now is the time to please God. We should have this testimony that Enoch had, that we please God in everything we do, that we please God in our living, that we please God in the way that we preach the gospel, that we please God in our ways, not just by our words. We don't want to be hearers of the word, but we want to be doers of the word. We want to preach the gospel to the four corners of the earth. I, I believe Paul Crouch um, um, started this. He, he, he would say he wanted to preach the gospel to the four corners of the earth. Now is the time for the real Christians to stand up. Now is not the time to go into your hiding place, but now is the time to go into your secret place and get on your knees and pray and humble yourself and seek God and turn from your wicked ways. Hallelujah. And then we can abide under the shadow of the Almighty. When we seek God, when we turn from our wicked ways, then we can abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Then we're protected from the judgment that's coming to this earth. Then we can be protected from oppression and depression. This is suicide awareness month, and we rebuke the spirit of suicide. We rebuke the spirit of depression. We rebuke the spirit of fear. God has not given you the spirit of fear, but he has given you power, love, and a sound mind. Young man, young woman, this is not the time to commit suicide. God God has given you power. He has given you authority. He has given you dominion. He has given you love. God loves you. This is not the time to give in and bow down to the wiles of the devil. He says, submit to God. Hallelujah. Resist the devil and he will flee. Hallelujah. Now is the time to resist the devil. Now is not the time to give in. Hallelujah. Now is the time to seek God. Turn from your wicked ways. Pray like you never have before. Now is the time to pray. It's not the time to lay down, but it's time to pray and get down on your knees. Now is the time to humble yourselves. Hallelujah. We see Christians being persecuted. We see Christians being, be, being talked about. We see Christians uh, um, being killed on, on campuses. But now is the time to pray like never before. Hallelujah. We know the word will never fade away. Hallelujah. But we need God's glory. The Lord spoke to me. When I was down to church, he says, if we don't have his glory, we have nothing. We need God's glory right now. We need God's glory to fill the temple. We need angels to ascend and descend the same way they did for Jacob. Hallelujah. We need angels to ascend and descend. We need to be encompassed around by, by legions of angels. We have authority. He said, if we de decree a thing, it shall be established. Hallelujah. He says, if we decree a thing, it shall be established. Now is the time to start decreeing and declaring some things in your life. Now is time to decree and declare peace, joy, happiness right now in your life. In Jesus' name we pray. Hallelujah. Let's give God some praise. I know you enjoyed that. It was powerful, Pastor. Um, you know, of course, I got excited when you said <laughs> that we shall decree a thing and it shall be established. That's yes. out of Job 22, verse 28. And the Lord really has the last two or three weeks, I have really been pressing in there. And he has given us authority. Yes, yes he has. You know, he has given us authority, the power uh, within our words. Yes. The scripture said the power of life and death are I in our words. We go. don't realize mm -hmm. it, do yeah. we? And, no, we, and we need to get a clue, mm -hmm. as you said earlier, we're the sons of God, yes. Yes. with the authority of God, yes. and we need to begin to hear God's voice mm -hmm. yes. decree what he's saying. There Can you, you jump on that? All yeah. Right. You, know, <laughs> you know, the word says to decree a thing and it shall be established. Mm -hmm. You know, when we decree a thing, we legislate in the spiritual realm. You know, so when you legislate, 
just think of the government. When they legislate a law, it's passed. It's, it, 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 it stands. Mm -hmm. So when you legislate as a son and daughter of Jesus Christ, uh, son of the Lord, um, when you legislate, uh, when you decree a thing, you legislate a thing. Mm -hmm. You decree and declare a thing. So it's um, it stands. It's, it, it, it's, 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 it's legislated in the spiritual realm. And we have power in our words. I know James, um, the third chapter, talks about our tongue being like a kindling fire. Mm -hmm. You know, so what are we speaking? You know, we know life and death is in the power of our tongue. But just imagine if, if our words are as a kindling fire. Are we speaking words of negativity? Mm -hmm. Are we speaking words of pot? Are we speaking the words that he would speak? Mm -hmm. Jesus, um, the Lord said, I am that I am. Mm -hmm. So are we speaking, um, I am um, prosperous, I am healed, I am delivered, or are we speaking I am broke? Because if we speak I am broke or, we, or if we speak I am depressed, then we're speaking contrary to the Word of God and contrary to what God stands for and what God is. God is good. We have power in our tongue. And, and our, our tongue is like a kindling fire, a kindling fire, you know, and you know how you have a fireplace and you have a piece of wood and you have that small little flame as you add the, um, as you add to it, the fire uh, gradually builds up. So if we're speaking negative words right. over our life, we're speaking word curses over mm -hmm. our life. Amen. And those words, um, those word curses turn into, turn into consuming fires and they can bring, they can mm -hmm. um, give de the devil legal access. The devil is a legalist. Mm -hmm. he is. And, um, and he looks for legal access. Mm -hmm. um, the words that we speak, if we speak something, if we say that I'll never be this, I'll never be that, then the devil can act on those words. Yeah. But if we say, I am blessed, I am healed, mm -hmm. then God will move, he will dispatch angels on your behalf, mm -hmm. you know, and I truly believe in the words, uh, um, the words that come out, come out of our mouth. And, and Job, it wasn't until Job, uh, we were talking about this, Robin, it wasn't until Job started praying and interceding for others that God turned his situation around, Amen. you know, and now is the time for the intercessors to come out. Yeah. You know, we need intercessors. Um, me and my wife, we spend more time praying yeah. for others because we know people um, sometimes won't pray for themselves. Um, so we've taken on that duty to pray for others, you know, to, to, you know, to step in the gap for people um, because we know that this is Suicide Awareness Month mm -hmm. and, um, and it's a lot of people that are considering suicide. Mm -hmm. Suicide is not the way out. Yeah, the Lord true. Jesus Christ is the way out. Mm -hmm. so, um, so you have to resist the devil and rebuke that spirit of suicide mm -hmm. and depression because the devil wants you to take your life. He yeah. wants you to be depressed. Mm -hmm. He, you know, the devil, he will oppress you mm -hmm. and depress you, um, you know, but God has not given us a spirit of fear. Amen. He's given us power. That's right. You know, I was just thinking while you were talking and you mentioned legislating mm -hmm. and yeah. then you mentioned power as well. We know that um, Matthew 16, 19, uh, when Peter had the revelation that Jesus was the Son of God. And, yeah. Yeah. and Jesus said to him, flesh and blood has not revealed this to you, but mm. my Father. Yes. Yes. By the Spirit, he recognized Jesus was the Son of God. Mm. And he says in verse 18, and I say also unto thee, thou art Peter, and upon this rock I'll build my church. Mm. Yes, and Lord. the gates, or the yes. authority of hell, will not, will not prevail, prevail against yes, it. And the God. word church is ecclesia or ecclesia, mm -hmm. and yes. in that day, um, it was a governing body. When yes, Rome Lord. was conquering territory, yes. they would send the ecclesia and it was, mm -hmm. it was secular. Mm -hmm. yeah, and they would secular. go in and Romanize. And the Lord has given us the same authority and power, actually yes, a higher Lord. level <laughs> yes, of authority do. and power there above all other, that we can take the word of God and we can legislate. Yes. We can Christianize our mm -hmm. territory, yes, can't Lord. we? And yes. decree a thing. Absolutely. And decree a thing. There Amen. Go. And well, go ahead, sir. Well, um, and, you know, it was a, a scripture that dropped in my spirit. It says, in righteousness shall thou be established. Mm -hmm. um, uh, Isaiah 54 and, and 14, it says, in righteousness mm -hmm. shall thou be established. Thou shalt be far from oppression, for thou shalt not fear and from terror, for it shall not come near That's thee. Good. In righteousness, you know, and what is righteousness? Right living, yeah. um, you, know, ab you know, abiding in, 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 in the Lord. You know, and I just want to share that. And then That's it powerful. says, no weapon that is formed against you shall oh, prosper. No. We know that scripture. Yes, we <laughs> um, and every tongue that shall rise up against you in judgment, shalt thou shall condemn. Mm -hmm. And it said, this is the heritage of the servants mm -hmm. of the Lord, and their righteousness is of me, saith the Lord. So we know that no weapon wow. that's formed, he, um, he, he didn't say it wasn't going to form, but he said it will not prosper. 
In Hallelujah. righteousness was the key. In righteousness. Uh -huh. Thou right shalt living. be established, verse Hallelujah. 14 of Isaiah 54. Uh -huh. in we like to, yeah, in righteousness, we like to quote the no weapon portion, uh -huh. but, but in, there is a, a, a scripture that precedes it in righteousness. Like yes. you said, the enemy is a legalist. Mm -hmm. Yes, he is. And he's looking for any entry. Jesus said when he came after him, he has no place in me. Uh -huh. See, you yeah. know, <laughs> and we, we need to be able to, you know, in Christ Jesus, mm -hmm. stand in that place, knowing that we're being perfected from yes. glory to glory, yes, but to the best of our ability, stand in that place of right living, right Absolutely. standing. Amen. Yeah. Amen. And we can't do it by ourselves. We need Him. Amen. Amen. That's we the truth. Him. Well, we have a couple minutes left. Share a little. Uh, first of all, I'd like you to. We'll go back to this in a second. But when are your services, Pastor? Will you share? Um, um, yeah. Oh, well, um, our Sunday service, um, we have we have the Sunday school, you know, like an educational Bible school, for, at 10:30 to 11:30 um, a.m. And then um, we go um, directly into morning worship at 11:30 uh, a.m. on Sunday. Then we have our Bible studies at 7:30, um, and then we also have. Um, open up the church for, for a power, uh, we call it an hour of power, where we come in and pray on, on Tuesdays. And, um, and we open the church up and, and that's our service times right now. And as we continue to grow and expand, we, we, um, we have a desire to, to be able to have more services during the week. Mm -hmm. And you're on the east side of Temple, what's your yes, location? It's um, 1005 South Terrace Street, uh, Temple, Texas 76502. Amen. Well, we have a minute left. Will you pray for the people? Yes. And we'll close out that way. Amen. Absolutely. Amen. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, we just thank you, Lord, thank for this opportunity, Lord. We Absolutely. thank you, Lord, because this is the day that the Lord has yes, made. God. And we praise your name today, Lord. We pray for each individual that has heard this interview or this message, Lord. And we pray, Lord, that they have a heart and a mind to receive. We pray, Lord, that you stir up yes. the gifts in them, Lord that you stir up the gifts in them, Lord, that you bring the people back to you, Lord, in a place of repentance and salvation, Lord. We decree and declare that you protect us, Lord, that you let us abide under your shadow, Lord. We decree and, and declare that, that sickness, that cancer, that, that suicide, that, that murder, that, that, that lust and all these other things, all these attacks that come up against the people of God, that they are canceled right now. We come up against every stronghold. We cast down every stronghold hold in every principality that comes up against us. Amen. We bind it right now in the name of Jesus. We release peace. Amen. We release joy. Amen. We release love. Yes. We release power. We release authority yes. right now in the name of Jesus. Praise we you, release Lord. it right now in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. Yes, we release it yes, in Jesus' name. Yes, Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Amen. Well, thank you both for being thank here today. Friends. It's been Absolutely. a great Absolutely. blessing. And it's truly Praise been a the blessing. Lord. And thank you for joining us thank on you. the gathering. Thank you. Amen.